by design by an engineer who was involved with the design of a Boeing 747. So they got the guy who made Bo Boeing 747s to make this woman's tits. That's wild. Warning, this episode contains gratuitous references to both boobs, but also some references to self-harm, including suicide. Please, viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to Ruben Uncut. Now, it's probably no secret if you're looking at my channel, and although you might not be, but for those who do pay attention to my channel, it's probably no surprise that my most successful video is the men with the world's largest penises. Now, that's hard success to replicate. Just, mm. People just love dick, I guess. But what do people love more than dick? Is there a body part that possibly everybody loves? That's right, it's the boob. The giant titties, breasts, bosoms. Many other words for fabulous fun bags. <clears throat> so today, I'm here to talk about the women with the world's largest breasts. Now I'm going to start with natural breasts because this one was easy to find out. Things get complicated when we step into the world of world's largest breast implants. So, but first, we're going to learn about them natural titties. Let me tell you about someone named Norma Stitz. My first source here, of course, is Wikipedia. But don't worry, I have other sources too. Annie Hawkins Turner, better known by stage name Norma Stitz, Interesting choice for a porn name, I have to admit. Enormous tits. Oh, like enormous tits. Ah, oh, I just, I just figured that out. Uh, it, it would make it easier if her, she had like an E initial at the beginning for no reason. E Norma Stitz. Get it? I mean, it'd just be clear. But I guess, you know, she's thinking outside the box here. Uh, anyways, is a website entrepreneur and fetish model. Her pseudonym, her pseudonym is a wordplay on enormous tits, which proves that I'm reading this Wikipedia for the first time, <laughs> or that I was high when I read it the first time. But let's move along. A result of gigantomastia. So it's actually a condition that has caused her breasts to be so large. She holds the Guinness World Record for largest natural breasts. Career. According to Stitz, she won a layout contest for the amateur section of Jugs magazine at 37, after which she began working in the adult entertainment industry. On the 15th of July, 2012, Hawkins Turner appeared on TLC seri television series Strange Sex. She has also appeared on the Ginny Jones show as Norma Stitz. She has made approximately 250 softcore pornography films. For those who are unaware, softcore pornography implies that we never see the, well, the genitals. And if we do see the genitals, we certainly don't see the genitals touch. You get my drift? There's no penetration in softcore. That's the, that's the big thing. She described herself as a fantasy model, adding, no hardcore. That means no sex. Te technically accurate. There are softcore pornographies that present representations of sex or people pretending to have sex but there is typically not actual sex in softcore pornography. Her video, The Amazing Norma Stitz, has been reviewed in adult video news. Okay, actually, I'm... Uh, oh, I hope they have citation for that, because I that's, that's what I actually want to read. I'm opening these things off camera, just, you know, in case something touches me by surprise. She, by the way, had she was inducted into the BBW, that stands for... Big beautiful women, also sometimes big black beautiful women. Wait, that's too many Bs. Hall of Fame in 2018. In 2016, Hawkins Turner's likeness was included in the newly opened Wax Museum in Ha Long, Vietnam. Vietnam must be very culturally different from us. But let's see if we can get some more details on Norma from, this is a commercial website, so I can assume I can show you this. This is from The Sun, which, if you remember, is also where we got some of our information about large penises 
Uh, apparently, they're the newspaper for that kind of thing. Boopreneur. That's, that's really not a great pun, but you know what? Sure, sure, why not? On Nope, can't think of a better tit-related one. Let's move along. One of the world's largest natural breasts on how her 102 triple Z cup assets have netted her millions. Mum of two, let's say you know it's a British publication, has the world's largest breasts, has revealed her 102 triple Z cup assets have netted her millions. That's basically the title again, except for the fact that we now know she is a mum. And Annie Hawkins Turner, who is better known by the pseudonym Norma Stitz, a play on the phrase enormous tits. Okay, okay, I get it. It's obvious. It's obvious. Okay, see, kid, this is why you do, this is why even when it's legal in your state, you shouldn't smoke weed all the time. Is celebrating 25 years since she turned her giant boobs into successful business. The 57 year old fetish model from Atlanta, Georgia, has held the Guinness World Record for her eye poppingly voluptuous cleavage since 1999. Unbelievable, her enormous boobs, which weigh staggering 65 pounds each, are over four and a half foot in length and are still growing. This woman's breasts are larger than than some children. Hell, uh, four and a half foot. She's la she is larger than some, her breasts are larger than some adult women that I've met in my life. Good Lord. Or actually, no, they're about the same size. I, I've never, whoo, still growing. Annie began developing breasts at the age of five. Now that, see, this is, this is what happens when you don't give those children puberty blockers, apparently. And by nine, they were size 36D. Oh my God. That, like, I hope she was okay. I hope her childhood wasn't just a terrible series of, like, being sexually harassed. Because, good God. Uh, oh, wait, we're going to find out about her when she was... When I was a teenager, I struggled with the fact my breast chest just kept growing and growing, she said. Finally, I was diagnosed with gigantomastia, a condition that involves slow progressive growth of breast tissue, tissue, which is my breasts continue to grow even today. How old is this article? This is from 2016. This article is from 2016, which means that her breasts might be even larger now. Dear Lord, her back must be strong as hell. Wow. I just, wh wow. Okay, moving along. Annie was dubbed whale boob girl by her peers and feared boys only wanted to date her because of her large chest. Probably legitimate concern. Annie, okay, here's a picture of her family. Ah, oh, did not, uh, didn't see that coming. Her husband, Alan, left and her children. Uh, looks like she had her children. Hey, it said mom of two. Why she got three kids? What? That's supposed to be a boob joke? What's what's going on here? Failing your own fact check. Mid article, the son. However, in, in 1991, she met the love of her life, Alan Turner, an Air Force officer who was 20 years her senior. I'm I, I'm going to guess that their kids are from another father. I mean, unless you got real dominant genes. Over a night, to my shock, I discovered Alan loved big women and thought my breasts were magnificent, she said. Despite the age gap, we got on really well. He boosted my confidence, continually told me I was beautiful, and accepted me and my kids. Okay, well, that confirms that I feel bad for speculating, even though technically I was proven correct. After dating for five years, the pair got married, and Alan encouraged Annie to start making the most of her supersized breasts. Oh, Okay. He encouraged me to send some pictures to a specialist magazine. A year after we met and I was inundated with requests, she said. It was a magazine that featured white women and I was featured breaking, I guess, another record. Okay, so she was the first black woman to be featured in this softcore pornography magazine? Hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, it, for representation in porn, I guess. Uh, her breasts are... How many times is the article going to say that? Uh, technically, that's a caption to a... Fit. You get the idea. Annie's career blossomed from there. She set up a website and charged men to admire her boobs. Within months, she had over a million subscribers and made 40,000 pounds in her first year. Must be British. Now, Annie credits her success to Alan and says without him, she would not have achieved the career she has. 
her husband kind of a Chad. I'm not gonna lie. Like he was he was like, I am secure enough to let you show your breast to the world because I know it will make us both rich. He said, oh, no, he sadly died of lung cancer in 2003, but Annie has carried on with her business, which sees her model lecture, lecture, huh, huh, and makes special appearances. Doctors have advised Annie, who is size 22 and five foot six inches tall, to have a breast reduction but she has refused. This woman is, is my height. Okay. I don't want to mess with nature. As my breasts grew, the muscles in my back developed to, and supported them, she said. <sighs> okay. I, I have met women who, who have had breast reductions, uh, significantly smaller breasts than hers. And like her back, she must have the Hulk's back. Like she got to be able to use that. It, if she if she wasn't using all that super strength to carry around her giant tits, one has to wonder what she'd be able to do with it. I can only drive a four I can only drive a four by four and need a larger airplane seat. I assume she doesn't I assume she means a large truck and not a quad. Uh, I have to be extra careful walking downstairs. I think you should consider the breast ridiculous. I mean uh, it is it is what makes her rich, so it's hard to it, lady, as soon as you save up enough money to retire, I hope you you don't have to like make them normal size, but like maybe maybe just so you're, it's not a hazard to go down the stairs. That's it's gonna be a problem as you get older because stairs are a problem for everyone as they get older. And so if they're already a problem for you now, yeah, she cannot sleep on her back because the weight of assets could crush her. I have not I have not pre-read this article. Has has to have sex on her side and has never breastfed her children. Darius and Clara. Who was that third kid? Like, it's really beginning to sound like she does only have two kids. Who was the third kid in the picture? Just a random, just a random kid? Darius and Clara, in case she smothers them. Oh, wow. Okay. But she feels the these inconveniences do not matter because her boobs have earned her over a million pounds. And just for clarity to anyone who is dumb enough to think this, that is the name of the British money. Not that her tits weigh a million pounds. My business has put my kids through college, bought cars, and nice homes. I travel the world, and I am my own boss. That is hard to argue with, she said. Annie says her children are proud to get some but sometimes get angry when fans ogle her. She is now marking 25 years of being a boobpreneur. I'm going to guess that she came up with that. By launching a global model search for other women with supersized, real, natural breasts. She'd like to help them become models on her website. Oh, damn, she is... She's getting good at capitalism. I'm encouraging women of all ages and shapes from the UK, Europe, Asia, Australia, and the US... A, to send me photos and resumes. If they're interested in glamour modeling, career like me, she said. Annie, who dresses in stretchy dresses and has given up wearing bras. Okay, wait, she's clearly wearing a bra in this picture. We'll be, he we'll be headlining shows in Ve Las Vegas at the end of July and is taking part in the international BBW convention where she will sign autographs and hold seminars. I... Doesn't wear bra. Okay, first of all, is this not a bra? Is, is this not a bra? It, or is or is that picture from before she stopped wearing bras? But like, no support. Damn. Like this bitch is strong, like ungodly strong. Annie is usually mobbed by fans when she attends events and has to employ a bodyguard. Fans chase me, and when I do appearances, I find myself surrounded by men and women. She said. I first realized I need security after an appearance at a nightclub three years ago when I was literally mobbed. I was completely overwhelmed. <sighs> That's scary sounding. Over 300 people flock to her appearances and some grope her and grope her and thrust in my hand and thrusting their hands down my top. Jesus Christ, people. She said, I may have the world's largest breasts. I may glamour model and I may show them off, but I liked but all I ask is people respect my personal space. Fair. Fair. That's, that's fucked up that you think you could just walk up to her and just grab them giant titties. 
when Annie is in trap, those are her assets, literally, <laughs> in this situation. Uh, when Annie isn't traveling the world, making appearances or doing lectures, she's at home being a normal mum. I think it's funny that the son chooses to use mum, which is like the ca the more casual version of mother. Just happen to be a mum with the world's largest breasts and a mind for business, she said. You know what? Honestly, I'm impressed. I am impressed with this woman. Hats off to her. She's out there doing what what she does. But you may ask, what about the world's largest fake titties? What about the women who chose to do this for themselves and weren't just apparently chosen by God to have the largest breasts? Well, I looked up the world's biggest plastic titties too. So let's find out. Now I'm gonna, now I found this too. And like, I find this factoid alarming because like the people we're about to lear learn about, because this, this is where things get a little more complicated, definitely exceeded this amount. Because according to the Burbank Plastic Surgery com, the largest breast implants that can be approved by the FDA can go up to 800 cc's. That's a measurement of fluid in case you're wondering in size, which covers silicone gel breast implants and saline breast imp implant shells, with the latter be being more common with large breast augmentation procedures as saline implants can be inserted during the procedure and filled up to the eye. Not, I, I don't think that's really important. The important part of that is it's the FDA's, uh, at least according to the Burbank Plastic Surgery com, which is a blog I'm seeing now, which actually, whenever you see something as a blog, it means it's, you shouldn't you shouldn't take it as seriously as a source. But it's a blog on the Burbank Plastic Surgery com, so maybe it has some legitimacy. But the point is, according to this, the FDA's max is 800 cc's, which is a is a lot now. According to Wikipedia and the French Guinness Book of World Records, Lolo Ferrari, born Yves Valois, 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 I don't know, it's French, who, who was born the 9th of February, 1963, and died the 5th of March, 2000, was a French dancer, actress, and singer, billed as the woman of the world's largest breast implants in the world. She entered the international limelight in 1995, appearing in the French Guinness Book of World Records in 1996 and 1999. Her death in 2000 was ruled a suicide, but suspicion remained that her husband may have been involved through, though he was officially cleared in 2007. She's in this picture here, which I, oh, it's a, which is a French adaptation of the of Mother Courage by Bertolt Brecht. Fun fact, though, this woman would not be able to breastfeed because, of course, she's had implants. Born in Claremont, Ferrand Poudedon, I don't know how to speak French, Fran France, Yves Valois, was raised in the resort town of La, La, Bule, La, Bule, La Bule on the Atlantic coast. She often talked about her unhappy childhood with her father absent and her mother, Catherine Valois, disliking her. Okay, I'm beginning to see why this woman would have been eager to get giant boobs. Okay. As a teenager, she obtained a few modeling jobs. Or was it pressure from her modeling jobs? In 1988, she married Eric Vigma, a former drug dealer. 15 years her senior who had just been released from prison. Oh, sweet Jesus. Is this the guy? Is this the same guy? She then started working as work as a model with her husband as a manage, as manager. She also worked as a prostitute and her husband who was arrested for being her pimp. Maybe I should pre-read these. Uh, this is a guy sad. Encouraged by Vigny. That's probably not how it's pronounced because French and not like Scandinavian. She underwent... She underwent, beginning 1990, numerous plastic surgery operations to create a 180-centimeter, 71-inch bust. She was originally a 37-inch bust. She had 22 enlargement. Ah, that's so much surgery. Which is a Guinness World Record. So she holds the record for the most breast surgeries. Okay, the Guinness World Record. 
Book of World Records 2003 indicates each of her breasts weighed 6.2 pounds. Dear God. And contained three liters of saline. She wore a specially engineered brassiere. Her brassiere measurements have been given by various sources as 58F, 54G. Although these measurements appear false, a breast similar size have bra size of around 36T or 36 triple M. The breast implants themselves were reputed to be by design by an engineer who was involved with the design of a Boeing 747. So they got the guy who made Bo Boeing 747s to make this woman's tits. That's wild. In interviews, she said her surgeries, all this stuff has been caught because I can't stand life, but it hasn't changed anything. Oh, her story is so sad. She's just trying to fill that empty hole of not being loved. I was frightened and I was ashamed. I wanted to change my face, my body, to transform myself. I wanted to die, really. Okay, so she, she, she oh, it's so it's hard to say because her husband, if it, if that was still her husband at the time of her death, pretty sussy dude. But she sounds like she did kind of want to die. That is her own. Yep, that was her husband at the time. Husband at the time. Okay, I can see why people suspected him. After breast enlargement, she adopted the stage name Lolo from a French slang word for breasts, along with Ferrari as a last name, and made a few pornographic films. Use of the Ferrari name, which she justified as it was her maternal grandfather's surname, led to lengthy trademark infringement. Court battles with the Italian Ferrari Automobile Company. But she tried to market a line of underwear called Ferrari Underwear and Lolo Ferrari Doll. In an effort to promote herself, she went with her husband to the Cannes Film Festival in 1995. Drug dealers can just do that? Pimps and drug dealers can... How much money does this man make selling drugs and pimping? She won the European Large Breast Championship there, became a favorite... Wait. Khan Film Festival has a world's largest has a has a Europe's largest breast championship at Khan Film Festival? Are you are you are you serious? Also, am I pronouncing that right? Khan, Kane, Khanis? I think it's Khan. I feel like I've heard people say it that way. Could be wrong. She appeared in the Belgian film Camping Cosmos by Jean Bacoy and producer Fra Francis de Smet. She caused a sensation in the 1996 Cannes Film Festival, the presentation of the movie during a remake of the boxing match in Camping Cosmos between the European champion and former opponent Muhammad Ali, played by Jean-Pierre Koopman. She used her newly won publicity to obtain a regular role on the British Channel 4 television show Euro... Euro Trash. The media hype led to appearances on other European shows and work in cabaret shows doing song and striptease act, hoping to launch a pop music career. Oh, dear God. She recorded two singles titled Airbag Generation... Okay. And set me free. I I don't know. Maybe he did kill her. As well as two more singles, a Euro disco cabaret song called Dance, Dance, Dance. How creative. And a cover of Thelma Houston's Euro disco hit. I don't know who Thelma Houston is, by the way. Don't Leave Me This Way. Neither of the latter two songs were was given a commercial release. Now we get to her death. On the morning of March the 5th, 2000, at the age of 37, Ferrari was found dead of undeterminate causes by her, by her husband at her home in Grassi, in the Alps Maritimes Department on the French Riviera. I don't know what any of that is. Original autopsy determined that she had died of an overdose of antidepressants and tra tranquilizers. 
She had been depressed and her death was ruled a suicide. Her parents suspected that her husband was involved and a second autopsy was approved two years later. The second autopsy found mechanically induced suffocation could not be ruled out. Her widower was suspected of killing, of causing her death, was arrested and spent 13 months in prison. After a second medical analysis, he was finally clear of the charges in 2007. When Channel 4 broadcast Ferrari's obituary on Eurotrash, what is that show? It was transmitted with straight dubbing as a mark of respect. Normally, Eurotrash's dubbing is exaggerated to emphasize the humor. It ended with a caption stating, Lola Ferrari, 1970-2000, an error given that her year of birth was actually 1963. In 2005, the station broadcast documentary about her life featuring interviews of her, her husband, her mother, and her plastic surgeon. However, she's not the only woman with gigantic, gigantic bosoms. Because over here in America on TLC, they had a show called My Strange Addiction, where we were introduced to a woman who had, whose breast size is reportedly 38 triple K. I feel like it comes from the alphabet before the M. So I guess we're going with largest living breasts. Last Sunday, holy shit, this article's old. TLC's My Strange Addiction introduced viewers to a man who really loves his car. I mean, they, the guy, I, I'm pretty sure that guy was having sex with his car. Introduced, <sighs> this time around, viewers will meet Shayla Hershey, a woman who, this, is, this came out before the episode? Shayla Hershey, a woman who loves her breast implants. Good thing too, because 38 triple K, there's a whole lot to love. Her breasts contain 86 fluid ounces of saline each. As mentioned in a sneak peek for the episode that, that works out to the equivalent of more than six a six pack of soda per implant. And Hershey still wants more. My breasts, my breasts is like my babies. I hope, I hope, I hope today did that to you, lady. I don't know how she talks, but like it, it should be R, my babies. She explained, I love them like they are my kids. See, you did it right in that one. Having these is just the most good thing in my life. The most good, oh dear God. Of course, few addicts would describe their addiction as the most good thing to come their way. And while her, she admits that her breasts make it difficult to do basic things like tying her shoes or even hugging her daughter, she might have a point. After all, a few addicts can say their addiction actually saved their lives. Hershey does. She crashed her car into a tree just one week ago, but her airbags failed to deploy. She now claims the implants did the job instead. I, I would like a medical opinion on that. Tune into TLC's Strange Addiction Sunday night at 10 p.m. to learn more about Hershey's big addiction. What do you think? Is she really addicted to the implants? Or is she addicted to the attention they get her? Share your thoughts on our Facebook page. I will not. Let's see if the sun has any more information about her. Brazilian model and television personality. See, already more information. Shayla Hershey is addicted to breast surgery after being bullied for her lack of curves as a child. Okay. Okay. All of, all the breast. Okay. So, so far, so far the natural large breast story actually you know what kind of inspiring that woman is living her life blessed even but like these breast implant stories are getting are just sad they're just they're just sad dad was absent mom hated her and this girl was was bullied as a child for being a flat twig of a child a popsicle stick if you will shayla she may not have even been you know like that's the fucked up thing is that sometimes we get we get attacked for our bodies in ways that like aren't even true sometimes. And like that just, it sticks in your head. And then you just, nah. Shayla received the world's largest breast implants, getting her bust to the staggering size of 38 triple K. While she has struggled with her figure, her record breaking assets saved her life. We read about this. The 43 year old was in, she looked good for 43, was in a car crash in 2012. She is much older than 43 now after watching the New York Giants play a Super Bowl party. She crashed her vehicle into a tree while driving home and her bust essentially acted 
like airbags. I once again would like to say that I would like to have a medical confirmation of this. The model told KCTV, I'm so lucky to be alive right now with the condition the car is in. They definitely saved my life. They're sore right now. They're very painful. I mean, honestly, if they did act like like your airbag in that situation, then uh, yeah, I can imagine that they would be. Despite spending approximately $395,000 on her surgeries and almost dying four times in the process, the model insists on once again going under the knife. She's reported to be getting expanders fitted in her chest, which will be filled. Remember our number I said you, to you before? Filled with 24,000 cc's of saline, achieving triple O cup, which would make her bigger than that last breast size that I read to you. Holy sh- not It's not 102 triple Z, but... Damn. The 39th boob operation is part of her hopes to look like country singer Dolly Parton. (sighs) Why are these people so sad and stupid? Oh my God. At 20 years old, Shayla underwent liposuction after being told by bullies from the age of 10 that she has a man's body, was fat and had no breasts. Oh my God. Oh, it's so sad. From the age of 10, 10, 10. By the time she was 21, she had her heart set on looking like Dolly Parton and got her first boob job to go from B cup to C cup. Her breasts ain't even that tiny. A B cup, you know, that's a decent handful. Don't feel bad about your B cups, ladies. That is not, that's not even flat. C's a good cup, though. I like C's, you know. She's been warned on numerous occasions about undergoing surgery again, given the complications of previous ones. The Brooklyn-based boob enthusiast suffered from two near fatal infections following two surgeries and an attempt an attempted suicide twice due to depression however the model told the sun i fantasized about looking like dolly parton for a long time i love her body and have tried to look like her now i've got much bigger breasts than her why go bigger than her why 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 do that to yourself I'm concerned about my upcoming surgery because I'm opening Pandora's box again. But I'd rather die happy with huge breasts than be sad and unhappy. Okay, so like, I wouldn't, I think this woman probably has body dysmorphia. Okay, okay. So one of the things that body dysmorphia does to you is that like, the scary part about this is, is that there is probably no breast size large enough to fix what's going on in her head. This is frequently seen in people with anorexia. They, there is no amount of skinnier that will make them happier. They will just continue to get skinnier and skinnier and skinnier until they either die or like have some type of wake up call or, you know, they go all Terry Schiavo on us. Side note, that's what happened to Terry Schiavo. If you're not aware, she went into a coma because her bulimia caused her to have a potassium deficiency, or at least that is my understanding of it. I can be wrong about things. To date, it is understood that the model has had 38 or 39 breast surgeries. She had more surgeries than the other chick. 28 liposuction surgeries, five nose jobs, 190 cc butt implant, two floating ribs removed, two tummy tucks, one eyebrow lift, numerous Botox and and fillers, two two ribs removed. Wait, is that the same two ribs? Or did it just, or their editor just missed that? 360 liposuctions and tummy tucks and fat transfers to hips. If she has undergone, if she has undergone this. Oh, okay. So that will also occur if she undergoes the boob job. Oh my God. But you're having liposuction and rib removal. Why? You're not trying to suck your own dick. Why? Surgery in 2005, the model nearly died from subsequent infection. Don't take out your ribs, people. Don't do it. Four years later, she found out she was pregnant and was told her implants would have to be reduced from 6,500 cc to 1,000 cc so her daughter could survive the birth. What? Oh, my God. She explained how her assets went from below her chin to her stomach at the time, leaving little room for the baby to develop. And, and note note to the fact that she is way over. 
way over what the FDA recommends, which makes me wonder exactly what the FDA even fucking does about this. Holy God. Uh, I was really happy after she was born, but then I developed postnatal depression and struggled with my appearance because I didn't have breasts. I assure you, you had breasts. See, that's what I'm talking about. Body dysmorphia, which is not the same thing as body dysphoria. Those are different things. Don't be con don't get it twisted. This was when she first tried to end her life. I feel bad for this woman. I feel so bad for this woman. The second was after a severe infection, which saw her implants removed, leaving her with no boobs and saggy skin. She was refused surgery for a year, and in this time, got very depressed and once again attempted suicide. <sighs> yeah, no, this woman has terrible body dysmorphia. That's that's what's happening here. For me, the focus is on my boobs and having big hips. I want to be a gorgeous bombshell like Dolly Parton. You don't need to be bigger than Dolly Parton. Stop having these surgeries. You're killing yourself. She added, some people want big cars, houses, and jewelry. I just want the perfect body to make myself the way I always dreamed of being. Oh, my God. This is, this is from March 31st, 2023. So this is from last year. Very... Very up to date for her. Now, this other name did come up, which is Zinni wants the largest breasts in the world. I will grow them as big as possible. She spent more than half a million rand. What country's money is that? She spent more than half a million rand on three breast enlargement surgeries and three breast implants in the past two years. Zinnia Zounds from Illinois, U.S. What country is this article from? <laughs> News 24. Okay. Zin Zounds. Zinni Zounds from the U.S., now has a size 38 GG breast, and she doesn't plan to slow down. I like them to be as big as possible. I want to have some of the biggest boobs in the world, she tells you. She's, okay, they, here we see a, sorry, at 800 cc. This, this is the implant size that is the largest recommended implant size by the, uh, by the FDA. Um, then she went to 1800 cc's, and then she went to 20, I'm sorry, no, that's 18,000. Wait, no, that's eight, is that 1800? No, that is 1800. And then she went to 2700 cc's. Oh my god. Still smaller than that triple O. While transitioning her breasts were very small. She took matters into her, oh, oh, she's, is, is she trans? Is she trans? Or, or are they just writing it weird? Oh, okay, no, no, uh, they are trans. I, I, They just have this one single line in between this photo and this ad making it confusing as hell. Uh, okay, so I guess the, this, the, the, they are the, they're the uh, trans woman with the largest natural, I will not natural, the largest implants. Oh, lady, don't, you don't need to make them that big to affirm, to, to, to prove to us that you're a woman. That's, that's too much. Underwent German gender affirming surgery in 2020, where it appears they originally went with the appropriate FDA recommended large breast size. While transitioning, her breasts were very small, so she took matters into her own hands and contacted a plastic surgeon, which means that she was unhappy with the results she was getting just from hormones. Because yes, if you were born in a male body, you can still you, you use hormones to get boobies. I've always envied women with extreme breast implants, she says. <sighs> oh my God, so much. And I knew that the size I first wanted would require two procedures. They don't look bad on her. They don't look bad on her. The content creator had her first breast implant surgery in 2021, enlarging her breasts to 800 cubic centimeters. Three months later, she had another breast surgery and doctors inserted one 800 cc implant. Still dissatisfied with the size of her breasts, Zini reached out to another surgeon to help enlarge them further because the first surgeon was too ethical. She was... Uh, the surgeon recommended expanders, breast implants inserted under the skin and filled with saline or carbon dioxide. Is, is that a thing we can do with our excess carbon dioxide? Over time to enlarge the breasts. I got the 300cc expander in October, Zenny said. Since then, she had them filled with another three times to, t to take them to three... 250 cc's i is that i don't know how well news 24 is at editing their stuff after spending thirty thousand dollars or five hundred and forty thousand dollar five or five hundred and forty thousand rand 
where the fuck is News 24 from? Her breasts now weigh three kilograms each. That's the size of an average newborn. Good Lord. I'm halfway through the limit of my current implants and possibly want to switch to a different type so I can keep going, she says. Well, at least you're not, at least you're not taking out your ribs. <sighs> Even though she loves her enormous breasts and wants to grow them more, she admits they do pose a challenge in her day-to-day -day life. There are things that I used to enjoy doing that I can't anymore. I used to run four miles of trails a couple times a week. I used to play acoustic guitar, and, and that has gotten really uncomfortable and difficult to do while sitting down, she says. Zinni has been working with, from home since the COVID-19 pandemic and is concerned about having to return to the office. I had, a, I had, a, I had 1,800 cc's when I interviewed for my current job, and I have almost doubled my size since... Anyone in the office last saw me, she says. I'm not sure how things would be if I still had to go into work. It would definitely get a reaction. Despite the challenges, she's determined to make her breasts even bigger and one day venture into the entertainment industry. That my breasts are what I want to be known for, she says. All right, I'm going to have to edit around. Cra I'm going to have to edit like crazy around this, uh, this next section here. Because I want to finish off this on hopefully a lighter note by uh, reading the review for The Amazing Norma Stitz. Released May 1st, 2002. Running time, 105 minutes. That's a whole fucking movie. Uh, company, Big Top Video. Casting, Norma Stitz, Cajun Queen, pa and Power Blossom is the cast. I assume they're all just large, big, beautiful women. Critical rating, not yet rated. Genre, specialty. Now, it says not rated, but it, it, it also gives, it's also given the movie... Five, if I'm oh wait no I can read the movie I can rate the, I'm not I haven't seen it. Norma's world record setting boobs may draw them in. Reviews reviewed May first two thousand two three a.m. <laughs> Critical rating. How to convey sheer absurdity of this tape? How to explain the first twenty three minutes of it? As huge African American Norma Stitz get it. God, I feel so stupid. Should I just edit around me being stupid? I don't know. No, it's funnier. It's funnier if I leave it in. Appears in a fancy evening gown as a scratchy jazz music plays in the background and the camera shakes like a puppy in the snow. Norma seems quite satisfied to smear on lipstick and chatter to herself about a mystery man named Stephen Paul, actually as... We, Norma's warriors, learn Stephen Paul isn't always Stephen Paul. Sometimes he's Stephen, Norma says, and sometimes he's Paul. Whatever that means. What we do know about this schizo <laughs> is that he likes it when Norma wears lipstick, red lipstick. He likes it a lot. Schi you shouldn't refer to schizophrenics as schizos. I, well, probably not. I actually don't know if that bothers them, but I would assume. Norma finally reddens her lips enough for Stephen's, or Paul's, tastes. She sort of dances around and takes quite some time to peel off the dress, revealing that what the box cover claims is recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest all-natural breasts on the planet. They are indeed huge, pendulous, hanging bags of flesh that hide the area where smaller women would have a waist. In abrupt cuts, we see Norma smoking in the bedroom, still yakking about Stephen Paul, licking her tits, touching a vibrator to the outside of her pussy for a bit. I didn't know you could do that in, heart, in softcore. Another abrupt cut, and Norma's joined by an equally large framed pal. The two eat chicken, drink alcohol, and remove their tops. Measuring their breasts with measuring tape, Norma's pal clocks in at 52 inches. They done grew, she shrieks, delighted. 52 lets on that she's bisexual and wouldn't be averse to some fatty fun. But Norma immediately reminds her that they're just friends. There's erotic, there's erotic tension for you. Hey, man. You got principles, I guess. Norma alternates between inviting other friends over for little non-sex tit measuring sessions and finally scoops petroleum jelly out of a tin and rubs it on her boobs. So where's the sex? There isn't any. If there's any payoff here, 
It's when some geeky guy, perhaps the elusive Stephen Paul, walks in on Norma and her friend plopping their boobs on his head and shoulders. We're speechless. A strong prenom for adult video nudes categories would appear to be in order. Okay, so even though I, I'm going to be honest, it did not sound like a positive review at the end. They still said a strong nomination for the adult nudes category would be in order. So he, they at least think it's worthy of the nudes category. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah, so I learned a lot here, which is that uh, some people are blessed with giant breasts and it it enhances their lives and makes them feel good about them and makes them feel good about themselves, although they also struggle with their body at the beginning. But the story of the world's largest breast implants were all kind of sad. Lolo, of course, uh, was sad because of A, the nature of her death, and B, the fact that it sounds like she was sad her entire life and only did the things that she did because she was trying to fill some terrible void left by the affection that her parents never gave her, which is really really sad who ultimately uh committed suicide or was possibly murdered by her extremely questionable <laughs> husband then of course we had the living record holder of what's her name again i don't remember i've closed all the windows doesn't matter but her story was equally sad because she clearly has body dysmorphia and uh zinni zounds the trans woman with the largest breast implants also sounds like they have an unhealthy relationship with their breasts. If you're willing to give up the many things that all those women gave up just to intentionally increase the size of your breasts, well, that's deeply questionable. But people do it. People undergo these wild, radical surgeries to their body. And yet we as a society tend to ignore it when they're cis people, which is, you know, messed up. Wow. Well, I hope we had fun. Uh, this certainly contained more medical nightmare fuel. Learn to be happy with your body. Learn, or at least to be happy within your body of a reasonable range. If you really do want to improve your body, then please, please set like a specific goal and then do not surpass it. And when surgery, when surgeons tell you that, when you almost die twice, when you almost die twice, maybe, maybe slow down. And if you're, if you're, if you're a trans person who is also giving themselves a ridiculous number of surgeries, you know, just, just remember, you know, you don't need to have ungodly giant breasts just to confirm that you are a woman. Women have breasts of all types of sizes. Pick a good size, stick with it. And, and try to be healthy in that, okay? Let's all, let's all, let's all try to remember this. I'm, I'm not saying that no one should ever have breast implants or plastic surgeries. You gotta live your own life. But remember that like if, to consider why you're doing it and to consider what is enough, okay? I don't know, I don't know why I'm, I'm saying this to you like, like you're out there getting excessive numbers of boob jobs. But I, I guess that is, the lesson of the story which is that the two lessons here are get that money and uh there is a number of there is a limit to how many boob jobs you should have i feel like those are the lessons you know they seem like reasonable lessons i don't know if we needed a lesson you just came here to hear about boobs well anyways if you enjoyed this please like and subscribe ding that bell if you're on youtube if you're or f subscribe or follow wherever you are getting your local wherever you're getting your podcasts uh you can follow us on spotify I'm by us, I mean me. It's really just me here. <gasps> Am I Paul? No, I'm not. Uh, you can also email the program at rubenuncut at gmail.com. Or you can just uh, annoy me in the comment sections on YouTube like most people choose to do. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful whatever, wherever, whoever, however large your breasts are. Thank you.